Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the very funny and the exciting and out of his mind, Jason Rouse! <laughs> calls me a uh, hubba balba. I used to do a joke about having my pants were ripped and I'd pull my ball sack through my rip in my pants and I sat in gum. And Russell thought this was hilarious. This was earlier on in my career as a, uh, as a joke. I didn't actually do it, I just talked about it on stage and then I fucked around one night and they all flipped out. He's forced me to do this for his mother. I'm like, Russell, oh, fuck man, I don't want to show your mother my balls. It's your mom for fuck's sakes. She's like all curious, keeps asking me. Finally, I do it, and she realizes it's my bag pulled through my pants. So she calls me uh, Hubba Balba. Yeah, it's hilarious. This elderly Indian lady calls me after a, a gum in Canada. Yeah, Balba. Well, I'm, I'm uh, Jason Rouse. I'm, uh, I don't know if you can tell from my accent, but I'm white. And uh, I love living here, I love living here. I love, oh, I love, I love the Hollywood girls. Yeah, you, you bitches are crazy. Yeah, yeah, I love watching the weekends on the way to the club, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, it's like the gates of heaven open up, little angels coming down the street. Oh. And you get into the club, you have about 50, 60, 100 drinks, and you change a little bit by the end of the night. It's like a weird Jekyll and Hyde thing, because when that club door swings open after last call, it's a different story. <laughs> fuck me, fuck me. And I'm always like, <laughs> okay. As soon as you're done having a piss, we're gonna make love. You got some hot dog on your chin, kid. But I did spend the last four years living in England, and I love living in England, because you can say cunt there. Yeah, it's more of a greeting for those people. Ah, oh, you're a fucking cunt, mate! And I'm always like, ha, 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 stop it, officer. I love that word, because when you can say it, you taste it a little bit, don't you, huh? Cunt, huh? Or if you're a Latino, panucha! I love that word, panucha. It sounds like an exotic bird you'd find in the jungle. <laughs> oh, here comes the panucha! <laughs> He's trying to bite my face. <laughs> but I found that North American girls don't like that word, cunt. You freak out when you hear it, huh? Cunt. <laughs> it is not a cunt! <laughs> this is a beautiful flower. <laughs> and I'm always like, no, it's not. You might want to put a mirror under that thing. <laughs> I think you need to take a closer look, sweetheart. Looks like someone's fired a gun off inside of you. Ah, oh, don't be ashamed of your cunts, ladies. They're delicious. I could eat a whole box to myself. Sometimes I don't even use my fingers. Just dum 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 dum. Oh, and I've eaten some nasty vagina in my day. You remember the 70s, don't you, sir? Pulled down the underwear, looked like somebody shit in a hairbrush, didn't it? Big old hairy panucha. To... <laughs> we meet again, Chewy. <laughs> I'd be afraid of you, but you got no teeth. And your gums are bleeding. Okay, you guys better get into this, because at the end of the show, I put my fist in my ass and sing I'm a little teapot. You're gonna get wet. You can look away, sweetheart, but the bad man's still here. I'd actually fuck the Asian guy to get to you. Who's the faggot now? Don't worry, fella, I'll put a wig on your ass so it looks like you're blowing me. And then it's gonna get weird. It's not really a comedy show anymore. It's more of a hostage situation. <laughs> She's like, when's he gonna do a joke about a puppy? <laughs> Let's fuck the puppy. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is don't use drugs. 
See, I didn't always used to be like this. Before I moved to Hollywood, I was a 12-year-old girl with a dream. That boulevard changes a girl. Sorry, I picked on you. But I am gonna get you. <laughs> you got the night off, Hasselhoff. Well, the old guy's just laughing because you're happy I'm not your son, aren't you, sir? <laughs> He's just sitting there in my day, we would have drowned a boy like that. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I need a place to stay tonight. <laughs> Actually, I was getting a blow job the other night. The girl asked me to warn her when it was gonna come, so I farted. <laughs> yeah. What more of a warning do you bitches need? You hear the funny noise, get the fuck out of Dodge. And she's all like, bleh, 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 bleh. And I'm like, I don't pay you to talk! Ah! Family, though, what are you gonna do, huh? I hear you, I'm not going to that reunion again either. Fuck you, Grandma! And your delicious potato salad. Couples here. You got kids, sir? Fuck you. <laughs> I don't like kids. I don't want kids. I can tell I don't want kids because every time I hear them screeching and crying in a mall or a store, I think to myself, fuck, how much better would that sound underwater? <laughs> Shh, go to sleep. Under the sea. Almost had kids. Well, I had worms. It's the same thing if you think about it. Never forgot when the doctor told me too. I was like, oh, this is a life growing inside of me. It's tough being a single mother, so he gave me some pills to get rid of them. So if you see kids about this long, tell them to come home. They've only got one shoe. Decided when I have children of my own, I'm gonna name them after people I hated in school, so when I beat them, I can really lay into them. <laughs> can you feel the tension? <laughs> so I don't know why I keep drawing to you, sir. Is your lovely wife with you? Is it your husband? Is it? How many people here speak English here tonight? <laughs> Oh, bonjour! <laughs> Sir, I don't know if you're happy or you're having a stroke or something over there. Is that your husband? He's happy? Yeah, I know he's happy. He keeps smelling his fingers. <laughs> ah, yeah. Well, we meet again, Mrs. Robinson. Something tells me that scarf around your neck is to hide the cum shot, sweetheart. <laughs> Look at she's laughing with her mouth open. That's called teasing. Fuck, I hope this gets on TV. <laughs> How long have you been married to this gentleman, miss? 37 years. Oh my God, give a round of applause for this lady. Good for you, sucking the same cock for 37 years. <laughs> Jesus, there must be some nights you just roll over and go, keep the chicken skin to yourself. You think sex is better when you're in love, sir? Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> a hole's a hole in my town. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was making love the other day. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> All right, I haven't seen a vagina in so long, I've been jacking off to my own ass in the mirror. <laughs> I put lipstick on it so it's not so gay. <laughs> Every morning, it's the same thing. Oh, I didn't see you come in. <laughs> You're the boss, Tony Danza, you're the boss. <laughs> I think sex is better when you're in love. I was on a date the other night. A little waiter comes up to me, looks at me, looks at my date and says, I'm sorry, sir, we can't serve you here. I says, why? Is it because she's black? He says, no, it's because she's a fucking mannequin. <laughs> I'm like, you, sir, are a racist. <laughs> Come on, honey, pick up your head, let's go. There's a lot of good things about dating a mannequin. Oh yeah, last night we're in bed together, her feet were cold, they just took them off. <laughs> and the sex, 
Never any complaints there. Always greets me with a warm stare. <laughs> Last night we're making love. Who am I kidding? We're screwing like a couple of squirrels. <laughs> That's my fuck face, by the way. <laughs> she recognizes it. Let's just say it was a little while ago, and I was thinking to myself in the middle of this beautiful, beautiful expression of love. If she was to suddenly die, would I stop or not? What do you think you do, sir? Look at the smile on your face. You're gonna pound that pussy until the police show up, aren't you? I think at first I'm gonna be a little upset. Oh, oh no, she's dead. Oh, God, no, no. I guess we're doing something different tonight. Oh, and you never need complaints from a corpse. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Women. In 37 years, miss, has he ever tried to uh, pressure you or anything sexually didn't want to do? Has he ever tried to take the dirt road? Has he ever tried to make a baby in your bum? <laughs> They're both laughing. You guys call that Wednesday, don't you? Yeah. Round of applause for the ass fuckers. Keep that population down. Go for the brown. This is the part of the show where I'm gonna jerk off with a belt around my neck and sing in excess songs. I love you. What's your name? Yes. Jana. Jana, how old are you, Jana? 21, oh my God, so am I. <laughs> Come here and pee on me. I mean, would you like to see a movie? Do you have a boyfriend? Can I be your boyfriend? I'll be your boyfriend. Take you out in the woods and, oh my God. <laughs> They're never gonna find your body. I know at this point you're like, did I remember to bring my pepper spray? <laughs> it doesn't work on me, I'm used to it. And I stay hard and I finish. You actually over there got your hands together, sir, are you praying? <laughs> it's like the devil is white. Ah, uh, Bonucha. I love the accents here. Anybody get an accent? Lady over there shrieked. <gasps> I love accents. I'm, a, I'm what you call a sucker for an accent. Drives me crazy. I was doing some shows a few weekends ago. <sighs> After the show, I met this lovely, lovely young lady. And uh, we had a few drinks. Ended up back at her place and uh, doing the deed, if you will. Next morning, I rolled over and I whispered here and I said, <gasps> Say something to me in that crazy accent of yours. She rolled over and she looked at me and she said, I'm like, what part of the valley are you from? What's that you want to do it again? We'll put your visor down on your helmet, sweetheart. Because daddy is going downtown. Come here, honey, daddy needs some loving. Don't bite my face, don't bite my face. I didn't know. I thought she was drunk. Showing off in her wheelchair. Another drink for the lady. We're still together. She'll never leave me. No, I take the wheels off her chair. Yeah, I know, I'm going to hell for that one. <laughs> Fuck it, it's gonna be warm and I'm gonna know people there. So, whatever. <laughs> Normally I don't do that joke, but there's stairs here, so we're okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some people are laughing, other people, the police should have been here by now. Uh,
Most comedians like to steadily build a show in a climactic cheer of laugh and applause at the end. Not me, I like to start off strong and just kind of go down from there. <laughs> uh, but before I go, uh, this is such an exciting experience for me. Not only am I a guest on my good friend Russell Peters' show, uh, a Showtime has just told me that I will have my own television series coming out in 2010. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're all very excited for it. Uh, it's very funny. It's called Hold Her Arms, I'll Go First. It's a romantic comedy. I'm joking! It's called Spit On It, You're Tearing Me. And it's a drama. I'm joking! It's called Your Mother's Cunt. And it's a musical. I know everyone's like, ooh, the comedian said the K word again, ooh. <laughs> it's a C word, well, it takes one to know one, you cunt. My name's been Jason Rouse, have a great night, thank you.